Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, happy Tuesday. So I told you guys I would make new videos when I'm purchasing new stocks. So this is one that really caught my eye and I'd be lying to you if this was one that uh, I found myself. I found it in a couple discords and a couple other uh, channels that I follow. So that made me look into it and uh, see what it was all about. So without further ado, let me get into it. But before I do that, make sure you like, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys subscribing and hitting that button. Uh, I'm, you know, it's just compounding. It just, it really gives me drive to keep making videos like this. So if you haven't subscribed or you haven't checked out my channel, I feel like I have some pretty decent content, uh, some really good stuff. If you don't know anything about me or this is your first time watching it because you typed in this stock, I'm a long-term investor. I believe that's really the way to compound wealth and it's the best way to do it. I like considering like, I really like growth stocks. So that's kind of what I do uh, or what I, I don't wanna say what I specialize in, but that's what I enjoy investing in the most because I feel like the risk reward is the most exciting basically. At, you know, it all depends on your age and your risk factor and all that. But, you know, if you're in your 40s, 30s or 20s, like I feel like growth stocks is the way to go. So without further ado, let me get into this. So this is obviously a new stock. I just built, I just started a position. So when I say start, I usually like putting in X amount of dollars. And if I buy more, I usually save money to see what the stock's doing. And I'll, I'll, I'll add to this position between three to 10 times, depending on what the market does. So I started my position today. So, well, actually Monday, you're seeing this Tuesday. So I bought it in the afternoon uh, Monday. So. This is the video first thing Tuesday morning, so I bought it late last night. The company is Corsair Gaming, so it's a, it's a really interesting stock. Uh, I really liked everything I read about it. The ticker is CRSR, so this, this company just went public recently a couple months ago. I feel like it's one of those stocks that people are going to sleep on for a while and just because they just went public and you know, most people don't know what Corsair gaming is. So like the brand itself, unless you're like really into gaming or like I personally play, you know, I enjoy video games, I play video games. I knew what it was, but if, if you don't play video games, you probably don't know what Corsair gaming is. It's a really good company though. So I've heard of it just being in the gaming world. So that's, so what they are, they're a company, so, when you say gaming, like, you know, there's so many different things that they can, you know, what, what gaming is, but this company makes uh, mics, uh, keyboards, they build computers for gamers. They're very, very, very diverse. They're like very uh, um, into the modern trends too. So it, they're a little different in that regard. Uh, their, their headphones for like, you know, the gaming units, they're, they're really great. They make wireless ones, wired ones. Uh, some of the keyboards they make are awesome. Some are like really loud, some are really quiet. They make crazy colors. It's just really trendy for kids in, you know, from the age of like 10 to like 30. They're very in with, with what the trends are, I guess what I'm gonna say. So why did I buy now? Well, they were just, you know, their 52 week high. I know that's not really saying much because they just went public a couple months ago, but their 52 week high was 5137 and that was on uh february 8th so that's not even that was a couple weeks ago so uh what i like doing when i buy stock personally i like looking you know obviously there's a bunch of things i look at like pe's the valuations the earnings like there's a bunch of stuff that goes into buying a stock obviously but what i do like looking at is i like seeing the highest point in a stock and how long or how fast it dipped so Really, if I hear good things about a stock or see good things or look at the earnings and they crush it or kill it, what I normally do is I'm like, okay, well, this stock has been here at this point for the good news or you know whatever that may be. If it's significantly cheaper with no bad news, well, I can almost, I'm willing to bet in the next couple months, it will be over $50. Like that's just how I look at it. Like I never want to buy at the, the top. So if it were right now was like 50 plus dollars, I wouldn't buy. I mean, I, I that, that's just my style. That's that's how I approach it. Not saying it's not a bad time to buy because it could run even more, but I don't like buying at the top ever. And, and that goes with anything. So, you know, so would I buy now? I mean, the answer is yes, but I'll get in that later. So yeah, they do gaming. Uh, they just sell accessories. They kill it. They're going to keep innovating. They're, you know, they're, they're just an awesome company. Earnings, 
I gave them an A plus just because their earning report was awesome. They're, they're, they're already profitable. They got a bunch of revenue. The, the analysts think they're gonna grow double digits this year. It's just a really, really, really cool thing. So, I mean, it's a really good thing too. So, I mean, I mean, just these, these key three things are what made me purchase today. Also, I am not in the gaming space at all. So I really like diversifying like growth stocks. So I like having two or three of every big industry. So this is my first gaming stock that like really caught my eye. I was looking at a, uh, what was it? Uh, God called uh, Activision. Uh, I, I believe they make the Call of Duties and a lot of big other games. I was looking at Activision, but like, I just feel like it's not a good time to get in that stock right now, but that was the other one that really caught my eye. So, but this one like right now is like a good buy for sure. So what's my cost base? My cost base, my initial buy was uh, $39.95. So it ended the day uh, Monday at $40.85. So we're already up a little bit, which is great to see. It did dip down Monday to like the low 39s, but I just happened to buy it when it was going back up, but that's okay because I'm a long-term investor. I'm not really worried about the pennies on the, you know, pennies on the dollar. It's it, it's fine, you know. So yeah, as I said, 52-week high was 51.37. That was uh, February 8th. So in my videos, if you haven't watched them, I like doing love, still buy, hold, and then usually my 2021 prediction. So I have four growth stocks that I'm really targeting uh, this year and I make weekly videos about that. So if you haven't checked that out, go back and check that out, make it every week. So they're pretty cool. I, I enjoy doing it, because if you're in that stock too, you kind of get to see like where you're at without crunching the numbers, because I put it up on the board. But anyways, where I love this stock, man, anywhere between like 30 and 40, I literally love it. If it goes down to like, you know, if it goes down to 35 or like 32, I gotta almost double down my cost base just to drive it down if it goes there. Uh, still buy, I would do anywhere from like 45 to 50. I feel like that's still, still uh, you know, still a buy or if you watch this video later, it runs up and you're in the $45, $50 range, just like the 52 week highs a couple of weeks ago. It's still a buy, like for sure. Like you're, you're getting a great deal long-term if you're a long-term investor like me. So like I don't day trade, I don't swing trade, I don't do any of that. So it's still a great buy. Where I'd start holding is like the 55, to 70 range, I'd probably hold off there. And when I say hold, I, you know, I'm talking about like all 2021, maybe into 2022, if you, you know, if you're looking to get out of this position or, or you don't want to, you don't foresee the future so far out, this is where I would stop buying in 2020. So, or 2021, excuse me, I'd stop buying in that range if you haven't got in. My prediction this year, I think it's gonna go to $85, $90 a share by the end of the year. So. We're, you know, I really have, I really think I'm gonna 100% this stock based on my cost base, maybe a little over. That's my prediction this year. So uh, yeah, so this is my new stock, uh, Corsair Gaming. It's my first gaming stock I've invested in. Uh, ticker is CRSR. And like I said in the beginning of the video, much appreciated to subscribe. If you like it, let me know. Uh, comment below if you, you like this stock, if you don't like this stock. If there's another gaming stock out there that really interests you, like I said, uh, the Activision, that's that's the other one I was looking at that I really liked. Uh, Turtle Beach was another one, but like, I, I, it just didn't do it for me with the valuation of the market cap it's currently at. So I think there's insane growth in this industry and I'm gonna make a follow-up video of why I'm so bullish on this stock. I just wanted to make this video, let you guys know that I bought this stock. That's my cost base, here's that now. Love still by hold. So I just want to get that all out there ASAP and then I'll make a video. I'll make another video tomorrow. Why I'm so bullish on this particular stock. That's all I got. Peace.